Hey folks, it's Mike from Plight to Freedom, and in this video about poncho shelters, I'm going to show you a few variations of the A-frame, including how to set them up with poles and a ridgeline. To set up this structure, you'll need a ridgeline and four stakes. Begin by attaching the tarp to the ridgeline, and then stake down the four corners. Sometimes it's helpful if you lay down your sleeping pad first to give you an idea how much space you'll need. If you need a little more space under the tarp, then try the barn setup which will require adding four guy lines and four more stakes to your setup. Attach guy lines in between the ridge line and the original stakes and then pull them out at an angle that will create a barn-like structure. Alternatively, you could rotate the tarp and set it up the same way, which I believe will give you more width space but it will retain less body heat. Again, connect the tarp to the ridge line and then stake down the corners one side at a time. By increasing the pitch of the shelter, I found it to be a perfect quick shelter for waiting out poor weather. Or if the weather really goes sideways, you can take the back two corners and stake them down together, which will create a fairly enclosed shelter, which is also helpful for keeping a stove going in windy weather. To set up the A-frame with poles, you'll need two poles, two guy lines, and six stakes. When setting up the shelter with poles, first determine how wide you'll need it, but understand the wider you make it, the less headroom you'll have. Stake down one side of the tarp at a time and attach the center pole with guy lines. If there is an issue of space to enter or exit, then try the cross pole method, but you'll need to add at least one extra pole to your setup. Holding the poles parallel, slip the pole straps over each other, cross the poles, loop the guy line around them, and then stake it down. Again, by rotating the tarp, it will give you a nice variation of the structure. Stake down one side at a time, allowing room to add center poles, and do so then finish it off by staking out your guy lines. Here's a little bonus setup that will close off one end of the A-frame, so your shutter will retain more body heat, but it will also help in blocking out the wind and rain. But keep in mind if you're big or tall, it will be an extremely tight fit. To set this up, you'll need a ridgeline and five stakes. First, attach the tarp to the ridgeline, then going in a quarter of the tarp, stake it down there, leaving a small triangular flap, and then stake down the front corner. Then repeat this on the opposite side. On the back side of the tarp, take the two leftover flaps and then stake them down together. If there's a gap left over, you can close that off with a stick and some shock cord. Now to set this up with poles, you'll need at least two poles, two guy lines, and seven stakes. A quarter way in from one end, stake it down and then the front corner. Again, repeat this on the opposite side. Attach a pole and guy line to both sides of the tarp's peak then close off the end with the open flaps. Well folks, that's all for another video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have, please hit that like and subscribe button. Feel free to leave any questions or comments if you have any. Until next time, hope to see you all on the trail.